Hi guys, I'm Lana. Hi, I'm Ashlyn. And this is the Second Breakfast Club, and we're continuing our Christmas week video series where we're doing a video or two every single day until Christmas. So today we're going to continue our BTS era series, which we've been releasing every Thursday. So we're finally to Boy in Love era, which is, a I don't know, one. getting closer to like when I started loving them. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited. Shall we dive right in? Let's dive. All right. Three, two, one, go. Hello everyone. Welcome back for a new episode. Before we start, <laughs> let's talk about some of the things BTS has dropped recently. Well, first of all, the Mind Drop remix. So good! Christ, I almost had a heart attack. They all look so good in this uh. video. Did you hear that, like, Taylor Swift had the record for most likes before hitting a million likes in 24 hours, they hit a million likes in three hours. Like, shattered the record. Oh, wow. <laughs> Best meme interview. <laughs> I lived for V in this interview. The whole thing. <laughs> Today let's talk about the boy in love era. Okay, so the new year of 2014 came, and along with it came BTS's new album called School Love Affair, which was released on the 12th of February, 2014, and contained 10 tracks. It's good songs on there. Boy in Love, which they promoted as the title track, and a song called Just One Day, which the group ended up promoting later on this in one, April. I love this Anyways, song. Anyways, before um, the album dropped, big hit uploaded this is when they start coming out of their little fetuses. Yes. The Transition period. And they dropped the gold chain. Praise the Lord. I kind of love uh, when they did animate, it had an animation phase. Mm -hmm. Concept photos onto BTS's official Twitter and Facebook page. Then a day later, they revealed that the song Boy in Love would be the title track for this album. Big Hits also released a song called Just One Day on the 6th of February 2014 for pre streaming ahead of BTS's comeback. They ended up releasing. Oh, this is where RM had like the April. best hair. It's a good hair. <laughs> I was thinking how much I love the dance practice for this. Anyways, the music video for Boy in Love was released on the 11th of February, 2014, and had a really cliche schoolboy concept. I have a lot of feelings about this music video. I liked it. I mostly liked it. I wish they'd... They did that K-pop thing of making the girl look really distressed when you knock her around. I wish they just made her into it. But it's okay. But this era was like a pretty drastic change from their old ones. Mainly style-wise, but also kind of music-wise. I love their style, though. Swag to school uniforms and dress shoes. I really do wonder what Sugar's reaction was to this because remember that he only agreed to join BTS with the promise of them being a pure rap and hip hop group. So I bet he was kind of reluctant at first. Bang PD was probably like, haha, howdy boys, let's see how you look in these pretty old <laughs> uniforms here. Being I love being BD Nim. Can we still wear our gold check and put these on? We, can, <laughs> we compared our like star signs and stuff, and Bang PD and him and I would have been best friends. Really yeah, he, like we would hate each other. Kind of sound. I don't know if that's a good way to put it, but they just sounded like a lot more poppy. So for our first category, style. All right, so like I said, the boys now wore school uniforms most of the time, and they either looked Stop kind it, of you're like, five. like they were straight up out of a K drama. Around the promotions of their song Just One Day, they looked a bit more innocent and gentle. But then during the Boy in Love promotions, they had more of a bad boy kind of vibe, but still wore the uniform so it was like they were just a group of veggie teens. Oh, my okay, man. So now let's talk about the I love seeing him gig in the background. If you watch Bang Tan Bombs and interviews from this era, then you'll see that they all look very similar fashion-wise. 
They usually wore a white button down with a blazer and a navy blue tie. Sometimes Jimin would wear a leather jacket instead of his blazer. But yeah that was about how versatile their looks got. So basically to sum that all up, let's just say they were essentially bad guys <coughs> making school uniforms. Anyways, after the release of Just One Day in April, the boys went <laughs> to school boys on the I love his color. Mm -hmm. boys. LMAO these babies started wearing red and white cardigans with gray suit pants and just Jesus Christ all I have to say is one word. Soft. This was such a big change though. Like I don't think most people expected them to have such a drastic change in concepts. But it's good that it happened. Look at Jim's hair. He was the bad today. boy. And also it was the bad boy. To see right. Our tough little rappers be all cheesy. <laughs> this video. I'm <laughs> playing hard to get before I kick you. <laughs> Second category. Okay. This will it was a good hair era. It was a great hair era. That like messy. His black hair, and he wore it down for the most part during this era. But it always had a cute little messy look to it, which low key made him come off. He's so precious. Jin's hair was brown and I love Jin's hair from this era. Front and we were always teased with his forehead. Jungkook's hair was dyed a dark reddish color, and he normally wore it down in his. Jungkook doesn't well. often have colored the hair. Mm -hmm. he would wear it where the front part was kind of spiked up, similar to Jin's. V had really vibrant orange hair during this era, and I actually really liked how it looked on him. He always wore his hair down, and occasionally the stylists would do like a <laughs> comma hair style for him, which was always so cute and made him look like a little prince. And just bless V during this era. RM had silver hair. Good hair. The boy in love promotions, he had the sides shaved and wore the rest of his hair slicked back in like a quiff kind of way. But it was like parted. Anyways. <laughs> I love when the robot voice asks the question. It's like parted? <laughs> the rest it makes me laugh. Boys. J Hope had brown hair and wore it down in his face as well. And finally, Sugar dyed his hair brown for this era and sported a messy look with some choppy bangs. Honestly, one of my favorite looks for him. It was so cute, oh my lord. Third category, makeup. This will hopefully be a pretty short category. And that's because by the looks of it, the boys' makeup for this era was pretty minimal as well. I will say that they overall had more of a smoky look to them. It really added to their bad boy vibe. Jimin, Sugar, and V all usually wore pretty noticeable smoky eyeliner. And the rest of the boys had less noticeable eye makeup done, but it still gave them a darker vibe which tied in nicely with the schoolboy concept. Fourth category, awards one. All right, so I just went and Googled Look at all those red BTS converse on there. Oh, they're not era, converse, I think I got them all, Nikes. But if not, then sorry. I think I got the majority, though. Okay, so let's start with a Yin Yutai V chart rookie award they won. Next is their winner of the Guy on Chart Music Awards for I love that he always remembers us, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's so pretty. Okay, not pretty, but handsome. Then they won a series of sold out awards. They won awards for best mini album, title song, choreography, and hip hop slash R and B. Fifth category: variety shows. During 2014, BTS were on. What is on your shirt, B? And I really want to talk about American Hustle Life because the first episode aired like right before Danger was released. But the majority of them came out during the Danger era, Excuse so I'm going to hold back on discussing them. We will just have to wait a little bit longer before getting into those golden memories. But during this era, they participated in the Idol Star Athletics Championships. They released the first BTS Now DVD in April, which took place in Thailand. To get mangoes. Chloe Pants, their fave. Especially V's fave. And they also appeared on Beatles Code. This 
was also the era in which they made their first appearance on Weekly Idol. Iconic. <laughs> they also filmed a documentary of their three days spent in China. V kills me sometimes. Then right before they dropped Danger, an episode called Rat Monster 4 Things show aired on Mnet. And it was basically kind of just a mini documentary about the boys. But the main focus was also on RM and how he acts as a brother and as a leader. It's almost like reading mean tweets. You sure did. Sixth category. Some of my favorite moments. I loved that little Once moment again, added in. Such a popping era, so of course there are There's some great bangtan bombs. bombs from this era. So I know. Some favorite bangtan bombs. Okay, so first, <laughs> the video webby is like playing with a toilet and just dead as ends up breaking it and awkwardly leaving it there. I don't think a lot of people realize that that's a prop. <laughs> So many people are all concerned about, like, what if someone tries to use the toilet now? Like, it wouldn't knock over if it was connected to pipes. No, and there'd be water everywhere. Right? It always just makes me laugh that no Second one seems to think about that. All acting cute and V does some gesture and Jimin pulls such an iconic meme face. <laughs> Third one is where Jimin and Cookie are making that rap with the app on Jimin's phone and just Jungkook looks so young and it makes my heart hurt. <laughs> <laughs> really quick, I'm going to throw in the clip where J Hope is mad at Jimin for so getting much. this photo taken first, and he dead ass <laughs> says, "You die." Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's one of my favorites. I love this dramatic music in the background. <laughs> Jimin. Oh yes. The iconic one called Let's Speak English, otherwise known as English Speaky Time. The whole Best. video is so legendary. If you haven't seen it, watch it. it. Oh, now, yes, all English time, all English speaker. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hip hop. Oh, oh my God, my my heart. Oh my heart. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Jimin, <laughs> laugh in the background. <laughs> Oh this is like dirty water, man. <laughs> I also love this video because this is like back when they were flying economy. Right? Here we go. Classic memes. So that wraps up this era. The boys really took a turn here and tried something new. I'm sure it was They're scary so because they weren't quite sure how well this new concept would work out, but obviously it went over pretty well. You just gotta be willing to take risks. Haha, ha, cheesy, right? Anyways, all of you guys have been messaging me on Instagram <laughs> saying how much this and my last series has been helping you out. And really I'm good so happy series. To hear so because I really do just want to help new fans. And I'm sorry if I left anything out. But anyways, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next week for an analysis of the danger era. You know, I love this era because I don't think we would have gotten like HYYH without them taking the rest of the Boy in Love era. Definitely. Spine breaker. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. They, I love this era because it's like when they're starting to grow up out of their fetus stage, but they're still like have that super 
they've never really lost their innocence, but when they're just like super goofy and just yeah. crazy and, and like people knew who they were, but mm -hmm. not enough that they were feeling all this fame pressure. I feel like they were still just kind of doing what they loved and hoping it went well. Yeah. I also really like it too because I feel like this is the era where uh, Jungkook started really coming out of his shell more. Yeah. And you gotta that see more of That danger era. Yeah. Like between the two. Same with Jin. Mm-hmm. I mean, Jin took a little bit longer because Big Hit kept telling him he needed to be chill mm -hmm. and all that, but um, they definitely started coming out of their shells. Or, or RM. Yeah. You know, he stopped wearing those sunglasses. Mm-hmm. So it was a really pivotal era. I it think, was. Yeah, this was fun. Come later. We love these days. Thought we can do the era videos. Right? Again, wonderful series. All of the series have been so helpful. So mm -hmm. again, support Squishy and Yungi. Give them your view. And just uh, support them so they can keep making these series. Because I really do think they're really helpful to New Army. And we have a lot of New Army coming in. Yeah, out. definitely. You know, like, I, I can't believe that there's a huge chunk of fandom who have never heard the Jim and You Got No Jams, or mm -hmm. like the Infires, or yeah. just old memes. I don't know. It makes me really happy. It's really educational. Definitely. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, it's Christmas week. We're going to be doing a new video every single day, if not more than one. Um, and we're hoping to throw in a few surprises too along the way. So keep tuning in. If you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe so you can see when those videos come out. And just keep watching and enjoying, and happy holidays. Happy holidays. So until next time, live long and prosper. Also, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! Bye.